Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today I will be showing you a very simple way to download Super Mario Hacks because um, I've been wondering how to do this for quite some time. And I know that my friend and other people are going to ask me how do I download a Super Mario World hack and use it and play it. So I'm going to show you a very simple way of doing it. Let me go offline real quick. Offline please offline. Thank you. So you need three things for this to work. You need Lunar IPS, which I will put the link in the description. Don't worry about that. Just go to that link and click download. You will need a clean version of Super Mario World. I'll show you where to get that. Also, you need your hack, and I'll show you where to get that too. So if you want to get a new hack, go to Super Mario, oops, sorry, Super Mario World Central Hacks. The website is called Super Mario World Central.net. Go there and fuck off Java. Fuck off Java. Thank you. This is a really interesting website. Um, if you know SSOHPKC, he uses this website a lot to download his Mario hacks. Uh, it's a pretty good website. They have thousands and thousands of Mario hacks people create. Uh, you know, just all these hacks you can choose from. It'll tell you the downloads. See, this one has 3,000 downloads. One review, 10 reviews. You want to look for ones that have reviews so you can... Let's see, this is not what I'm doing. You don't want demos. Um, that's a demo. Let's click on Ultimate Challenge because it has 888 downloads and one review. So it'll give you a description of level, and give you some pictures of level. So you have some nice coins, blocks, whatever. Scroll down here, you have a review. Sometimes you'll have a really good review. I'm trying to find an example. Uh, maybe this one. If it'll let me click on it. Nope, I gotta scroll it back. All right. I'm going to click on the first one, see if it has it. There we go. Is it? Yeah, here we go. You'll find, uh, if you find a really good review, it'll say music, 5 out of 10 rating, story, 0 out of 10 rating, uh, difficulty, uh, I don't see the, the score, but there's usually a score for difficulty. Does this one have it? Uh, design, gameplay, I don't know, one of those. They'll have difficulty level, and you'll think, okay, if it's like 5 out of 10, that's probably good. I'll go with that. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on this link right here, Super Amazing World, or whatever it's called, and then open it once it's done downloading. It is done. There's your hack. Now you need a clean... Uh, Super Mario World hack or ROM not hack so type in Super Mario World ROM go to coolrom.com it's the best website to download ROMs once that's done loading go down here click this download link wait eight seconds don't click on the ads I don't know if it's safe or not I never do download wait for it to open it's open close all that close out the link you can close out these two right now now what you want to do let me open these two let me open new tabs you're not reading my email um see so how these two open now what you want to do is grab your lunar ips you could um yeah i'm gonna do that I'm gonna make a new folder somewhere where you like. I'm gonna put it right here. We'll just say uh, test. Just call it test. Now, what you want to do? You can either extract the files into there, or just click on the little paper symbol, drag it in there, drag your hack in there, then your lunar IPS, which is right here. No, it's not. I gotta copy it in here. 
Control C if you want to copy. Go back to test, paste. There we go. Run Lunar IPS. Apply IPS patch. Now it's going to ask you for what hack do you want to use. That we're in the right folder, so select that one. Now it's going to ask you for the clean version of Super Mario World. Open that. Vial has successfully patched. There you go. Now close out Lunar IPS. You can delete your uh, this one, Super Amazing World. You can delete that because your hack is now going to be in the Super Mario World SMC. Now what you want to do is where is mine? Let's see right there. Hacks. You need a Z SNES hack, which you'll find. I believe you'll find it in coolrom.com. Um, I'll I'll do this. I'll provide the link to find znest.com from coolrom.com, and I'll show you, you know, where it is. We will find it. You'll need that to play your hack. So click on your hack, drag it all the way over to znest, drop it in there, and it should start running. Da, da, da. Now that is done, you can now play your hack with, you know, no troubles at all. If you want to, I'll show you some things you can do with this. You can click input. You can do a whole lot of different things. Um, see, I changed mine to, see, so you have A, B, X, Y, L, R up down left right start select you can do these and just change whatever you want i believe a no no b is to jump in mario a is to do a spin jump i don't know about x uh y is to shoot little fireballs or to sprint i believe and that's basically the only controls you need and you'll have up down left right so there's that. Also, let me, uh, where is it? Click on config and saves. Now what, you do, what this is, is that when you're playing Mario and you're playing a very difficult level of difficulty and say you don't want to repeat the whole level, you can just do a save state. You can save, you can save automatically during the game and you can, you know, reload to that save and retry that part of the level what you want to do is you want to make uh, state shortcuts I don't know I don't know what that means but I just put minus one and whenever you want to save during the game you can press W and it'll save automatically for you if you want to rewind press E or load you know you can change it whatever you want you can change it you know, after you click on it, you can change it to R, change it to H, you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter. So there you go. Um, it, there's a whole bunch of options you can choose from. I have load save state with SRAM. I don't know what that is. State it. Start at latest save. I have that one as well. So there you go. You can now run your game. You can have fun with it and play it. So it gives you a little introduction. Skip it, please. Thank you. So I can show that it runs. Yep. See? Now you can have fun with your own rack. Rack? What am I saying? You can have fun with your own hack. I'm gonna kill myself here and press E to reload your save state. So you can see right here, die, reload back here. Isn't that cool? So hope you guys have fun. Hope you guys uh, learned. What am I saying? Hope you guys learned from this. <clears throat> also, occasionally you will save, in case you're wondering. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll answer as quickly as possible. 
So thank you for watching. My name is Lapin Pete, and I'll see you guys later.